have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. <laughs> Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it, your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. We're not looking to run from anything. I mean, we have to, we might, but... We're here to face it all. To see what we're really made of. Well, Slayer, what do you think? I've got a good pup with me, too. I think you'll like him. Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Chomper, say hi. <laughs> you're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary back there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. If I can handle things out here, I'll be fine for what's back in the city. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Igloo! Where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. They've got a new life to start. You seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. 
not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Well, you really want that window open. You always need the wind in your fur. Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. This is going so well. We've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home, We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. <laughs> Shall we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Snoozer is definitely a better fit. Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door, and she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team, Barkley, Slayer, Gale, Iggy, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. 
I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Dogs, people, it's all the same basics. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, let's go! <laughs> Now here, we don't say left and right, we use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. G! It's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Okay, we should be able to make this shot, I think. I honestly thought hunting was easier. I don't know why I packed so few bullets. That was probably a mistake. Oh well. Margo said there's plenty more at the cabin. Thanks for waiting, pups. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. All right, let's mush on. I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or wait. Sounds pretty good to me. What do you pups think? Oh, good omen! That's what we needed, team! What do we think it'll lead us to? So we've some birch. It's a good start. I've never seen an owl this close before. So, what omen do you portend, huh? We can't go back. We haven't done anything yet. If I go back now, I'll have failed. Again. And Chomper is ready to run. He's hungry for competition, among other things. You're probably not gonna eat through the gang line and run off into the woods, are you, buddy? Right? Right? Stop corn cop biting the gang line! Not to self. Double wrap the gang line near Chomper. Oh, is that a gift? You ate a bullet? That's a good thing you can pass pellets. The other method, well, yikes. Thanks for waiting, pups. Three bullets left. Ready to go? Hmm. Let's go. Ha! How close do you think that wolf is? Not worth the risk. Let's rest. We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up, to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Ready for pets, Barkley? Mm, maybe we 
we should eat. The fire would be nice. I'm ready to cook some food. I don't need it. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't have anything to feed you. Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, shall we go to sleep? Right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail? Ready to go? Ooh, Chumper, you look, uh, ready to chomp. What is that? Oh, hello. I mean, you guys are just sitting there. It's like I have to hunt you. Thank God I still have bullets. Well, at least I know we'll have food tonight. Sheesh, you're smaller than I thought. Well, that was worth it. Another meal ready to go. All right, we've got two bullets. All right, let's mush on. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to eating all the parts I never wanted to. Who would have thought I'd expand my palate out here? Well, besides the meat, with a side of meat, and a moose bouche of meat. But we'll eat what we can get, right? And while I don't think I'll ever get used to killing my own food, I can do my best to make sure I make the most of each animal. Should we camp? Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. You're perfect just as you are. Oh, you did that on purpose! Okay, I'm back. This is our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. Let's get back out there. Let's take a break. This is a good spot to rest. Let's rest. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Food time! Chow down, pups! <laughs> Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail. Let's get back out there. Fork in the road. Where to? Ha! Oh, you pups see that? 
It's a caribou. Just stay there. Thank you, caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. That was a good diversion. Another meal ready to go. You pups look hungry. We're gonna need to find bullets. Let's go, Chopper.